Us. So what I'm actually going to do before we start is I'm going to give you three of the main problems. Me and Kyle are going to go through and tell you three problems that you are probably making at home. Um, you might not be making all three, but we're going to give you three of them. And then these are the most common mistakes. So don't feel bad if you are making these mistakes. It's always good to highlight the problem and then we're going to solve it with and the solution. At least they're watching now. We're going to fix the mistakes. For sure. What, what we're actually going to do is go through all the mistakes and then we're going to build a profile how it should look. And it will make sense later on down the line when we get into the Instagram hacks, the reason why we build the profile this way. But let's get started anyway. So the first thing that barbers are always doing wrong that I'm seeing on a daily basis is their bios. A lot of them are not filling that out correctly. No, not, not at all. Sometimes you're seeing they've got the girlfriend on the name and then they've got Barbara under that and you don't want to see that do you, if you're a customer. Sure, sure. I mean, so as you're saying there, the first most important thing to really understand is, is your profile barber or is it personal? Because the next thing that we're speaking about is people are mixing their barbers and their personal accounts. Yeah. What you've got to realize, if you want to start 5x in your income using Instagram, you've got to understand you've got to have a barber profile. And if you want to use it for personal, create a separate account. Because if I'm a new client looking for a new barber or I discover your barber profile... You don't want to see a dog and then your haircut and then your missus. I don't, I, I don't want to be seeing that. No, I, if I'm a barber, you've got to be... You've got to take yourself seriously yeah. and you've got to understand that if I'm a client, where's my money going to be spent? Like, am I going to give it to the barber who's got a picture of his, of his woman next to, you know, on Marbella on the beach and then the next haircut's a, a nice fade and then there's a picture of his dog? I, I, don't, want to be de I don't want to be dealing yeah. with that. Or am I going to go to the profile where there's a barber and he's got this structure that we're about to give you? Yeah. And then obviously the third, third mistake and final mistake was also a profile picture in your username. Now, a lot of the barber profiles I'm looking at, uh, they've either got like... It's not even related to barbering. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it is, it's, it's not even related to barbering. You know, yeah. That's not going to get you any, any customers. Actually, a good example is you, you've, you've actually got, like, you've done that yourself, right? Yeah. You've got your personal account. And I've got a business And you've got a barber Kyle yeah, account yeah, as well. Yeah, so, and, and you use them to, for set, how, how do you find? What's your, what's your experience of using personal and barber? Because personal life's my personal life and then business and work's my business and work life. So sure. I don't want to be messaging people through my barber Instagram, like messaging family and stuff like that, because that's not business, that's my personal. So that's why I don't like mixing business and personal life together. Also, with, um, when you've got a barber and a personal account, when you're at our level of getting good clientele and you're busy all the time, if you've got your barber account and people are messaging you, you know that you can go, right, listen, it's Sunday. Exactly. I don't want any messages on my barber account. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll, I'll deal with that. Off, yeah. I'm taking my day off. Do you know what I mean? Family day. So that, that it separates work life and personal life. Yeah, That's a very important thing as well, guys, in the, in the industry. What we're going to do right now is we're going to move over to the whiteboard. I'm going to clean this down and I'm going to give you the structure of each individual line on your biography and we're going to work through that together. I'm going to work through the board right now and we're going to get through everything as we are on the board.